We are going to the Sanctuary of Stone and Fire. Probably the longest level in this whole game. Clearly it's the hardest Sanctuary. The second hardest is the last one. Alum! Alum! I couldn't resist, mate. Oh my god, there's 80 lums. Almost every other level have 50. This one has 80. And only the fairy glade had 80 before. Shows how much bigger they made this place. Warning, Labyrinth, if you get lost, contact Robo Rooters immediately. Yeah, there are not very many robots here. <coughs> there aren't there are quite a few in this outside area, but you just stomp my ass. But we actually get inside the temple. We have more bigger problems to worry about. Of course you're at the- oh, skill point! Oh, Hit him in midair. Of course there has to be more than one now, doesn't there? Oh look, there's a cage down there! Yeah, you won't believe how much you have to go through just to get that. Only low end games do that shit. Ah, oh, the classic music I love so much. There's supposed to be a lum here, but now there's not- oh, wait, wait, wait. No, of course I wouldn't be able to shoot the X here. I gotta shoot over here. Whoa, I'm gonna fall for that. Come on, shoot it. Now, that was supposed to get you a lum and this gold fist, but this version is just a gold fist. Why are they keeping all the lums? This is, we got too many lums here as it is. They really improved their base, didn't they? Oh, well, actually, gotta do it from this angle. That makes it a lot more fun. I love how Rayman's so good at grabbing cliffs. I love it when video game characters do that. Okay, Murphy is telling us how to use plums now, so the next act. You know, this is the first area we use plums. This is the last item we are able to carry and stuff. So yeah, another new mechanic, and one of the most infamous of Rayman, the Rayman series, Plum Riding. First we're going to head in the opposite direction where they want us to go, because that's what you're supposed to do. Do the opposite of what things and people tell you to. It's only logical, and it helps you in life. Remember that, kids. <laughs> So there's a little, two little secret areas we can access. One of them is right here. Okay, the lava that is that is bright orange like that. Whoops. Okay, the lava that is bright orange like that is the lava that plums cannot fall into, cannot, or cannot bounce in, because, yeah, you know, it's really, really, <coughs> come 
one. Okay, let's put salt there. Well, I'm using this. I'm wasting this fist pretty fast. Alright, run and jump! <sighs> wow, I got eight lungs and eight cages. It's kind of funny. This is a ginormous waste of time. Okay, let's jump to the very left. Oh yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Misleading lum! I collect it so don't mislead us again. But here's what the plum is used for. It's uh here, here's another new one of these little dark balls. Oh yeah, I can run fast while carrying things now. That'll be way useful. New mechanic! Sticking plums on the enemies on this guy's head, and we can use that as a platform. Looks like those tall green dudes from Rayman 1. That's what Mary said when he met using them on enemies, but that is really the only enemy you can use them on. Yeah, there's always one enemy per game we can use a plum on. On Rayman 3, we didn't really use plum. The plums were less used in Rayman 3, and that was a disappointment. And in Rayman Origins, we didn't use plums at all. That sucked. I think plums are used the best in this game. They're just so fun to ride. It's more of a chore when you have to keep firing like this, but still, be good. And it gets a lot more fun when we get to the real action in this level. So the other secret area, I don't know why it's been side to side like that, is over here. Yeah, that one I grabbed earlier is where it led. Take a plum. Stick it on a... and fail to stick it on a post. Don't be bullshit if the lum you're riding is the only one you can stick on this post. Oh, okay then, <laughs> that, was, that was a bank shot, whatever you how you'd call it. I feel like I'm stuck. I call things, I call things things, but uh, then I'm like, whatever the hell you call it. Oh, I love Homestuck. It describes Micah, and yeah, it kind of suits me too, I don't know. <laughs> I'm doing it again. Y'all, <laughs> uh, y'all should read Homestuck. It's a jillion pages long, but it's pretty cool anyway. It's like Naruto, as I already said. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Because you'd be like, what's this pose for? But it's for getting across here. Without it bouncing around all wobbly-like. Now, I'll just set it in place, so all I gotta do is this. And look where we are! The cage! That was underground! <sighs> yeah. In this level, you definitely want to find all the lungs on your first go. Considering how long this level is, you want to get it over with on the first try. In fact, this level is so long, it has a whole extra act that we don't even need to go through, unless you want to get all the lums. And some cages. Oh yeah, there's supposed to be a lump between those metal beams, well, metal pipes there, but not in this version, because they stuff all the lumps someplace else. Which is 
wrong in so many kinds of ways, considering this version. In fact, this will be probably the only level that will take more than one video. It's just that damn long. Let's see here. We're not even through the first act, and I've already spent ten minutes trying to get through here. I guess the fault of that would be the plum writing, because it can be kind of slow. Of course, as was as with the shell, the plum writing in later air in later levels will only be minor. It's used that its fullest potential here, I should say. Those plums are minor in the later levels. But the shell writing in layer levels is all pretty fun. Matter of fact, there's a shell in this level! Alright, in the original version, this is where Act 1 would end. But, we're still here, regardless. And this area is where Murphy would tell you how to use plums. Now, they want you to go that way. So, what should you do? Follow your own path and go this way. And if your own path will tell you to go that way anyway, go this way anyway! Cause you're wrong. <laughs> okay. So, this is the extra act. I guess you can call this the real act too. Well, the act two in this version, and the real version be act three. So yeah, it's another part of the temple that was cut off from the actual temple. Apparently the pirates... You know, I noticed the pirates have actually found their way in here, apparently, because there are cages scattered around. Unless the guardian beings, aka the monsters, of these temples decide to take the cages for themselves and hide them in the temples to somewhat help Rayman, uh, help Rayman or something. Hit that. You know, not all these have a good automatic targeting system. I like N64. Yeah, this version pretty much equals N64, though. But yeah, the mechanic where he shot the slag. Oh, damn it. Where he shot the slag type down to kill Axel from the water. Shakespeare, water, and ice. That mechanic is actually used quite a bit here. Okay, didn't know how close that ceiling was. Break my jump. Sucks. It's like Ubisoft, you suck. Keep making the remake of the same game, even though this one is actually a decently better remake. And you're going to... Yeah, you're basically doing the same thing, holding fucking Rayman Legends off. For fucking other consoles, not making it special by putting it for only the Wii U. God, I hate Ubisoft so much right now. They ruined what would make Rayman Legends so special. It being a Wii U exclusive and requiring only the Wii U mechanics. Of course, you could probably do the same thing with the PS3, but PS3, nor does 360 have a touch screen, so that's why I'm only getting the Wii U version, even though I can actually get achievements in the other versions, because Ubisoft sucks, and I'm going to play Rayman Legends as it was originally meant to be played. Oh, new enemy, tiny baby spiders, enjoy him. They're only a minor enemy, they've only seen a few areas. My mom is signed back there. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you actually have to hop on those slag tides, so otherwise the fire will burn your... burn your... limbless ass. Oh, 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 I'm not gonna risk and make that jump. So yeah, this wall is originally dead end, but now there's a pile of rocks here, implying there's actually an area of the temple that way that uh, serves no purpose to the game.
Well, this used to be just an empty room with just these red blums, but they've acted an extra little detail. Lava falls. Behind, apparently behind some kind of lava fall somewhere. And they have this weird ass thing that looks like it would be important, but I don't really think we can use it anyway. Oh, this gate closed randomly too. So I only just love minor details like that make the game so interesting. Anyway, now we are at the shell segment of this act. Or this level, I should say. Oh look, it's a giant spider, but we can kill him now! And he does a victory for some reason. Oh, did you hear him? Yeah. You know, actually the pirates must have gotten in here somehow, because the shell is in here. So instead of- that was lava in the original version, now it's spikes. Weird. So we don't get any music! Unless it glitched out, because this game glitches a lot. Over the loop de loop Demonstrating the shell's ability to defy gravity like Sonic. At least it's more... Iffy in this game. Yeah, you can easily lose the gold fist ability here because you're likely to crash a lot. Yep! Music glitched out, now it's here. Gotta say, as far as music goes, Rayman has been the most glitchy because they always have several music soundtracks for a level. You know, it always alternates on its own. And it's really weird how. Shouldn't have jumped. It's really weird how it does it all the time. Rayman Origins was an exception. They had solo music soundtracks for different parts of a level, but not individual. So alternating between soundtracks and each individual part of a level. Other games, Rayman does it a lot. So don't jump. Okay, this area can be a little glitchy! Because there's lava you have to walk on, and lava you can't walk on. Yes, it feels like this is the most glitchiest of the, shell, of the shell segment. So either this one, or the last one from the men here hills. Oh, look, archways. That's a nice... T oh! Well, yes, I kind of ran that lava, but barely. I was actually... And you jump to that platform, and the shell ditches you. And crashes. Oh, look, we got half of the lums. And it doesn't really feel like we're halfway through this level. I mean, there's actually a lot of acts in this level. And some of the same acts we had to return to. Because, you know, of puzzle solving. So this level is actually really interesting. You get to. Because you have to return to some of the same acts to fix other puzzles that had to be. That involve using various acts. So yeah, it's really interesting. And I, I remember how fun it was to jump down that pit just to see the shell go woo woo crash, you know. Yep! Ah, he blows up in the way for us. Let's go up here. Don't fall in the lava or you have to do the shell again. So this will take us right back outside. 